So in this video, we're going to cover some of auto hotkey and mouse combinations for people who want to use keyboard and mouse for Elden Ring. Um, if you're like me, I'm not much of a controller guy, so I find the controller to be a bit difficult to manage. And I like keyboard, I like mouse, but this game is a Souls game, and they're not really that um, easy to get to work nicely and elegantly with keyboard and mouse. Um, I like to put all my movement on the mouse so I can free my left hand. Uh, right now my character can move with the, um, the thumb buttons on the side of the mouse. We can move back and forward. Um, I've used auto hotkey so I can have even attack combos. Here's a parry followed up with a stab so that works pretty good. You know, crouch and short attack. You know, a jump and light attack. Jump and strong attack. So that's pretty nice in addition to just your regular attacks. Um, and all these are done ergonomically on the keyboard. So Q, W, E, R, A, S, D, F, Z, X, C, V. So that's kind of my uh, four finger grid and those are my priority keys. Um, I like it when I can, you know, this is from playing a lot of different MMORPGs and things like that, like WoW and whatnot, where you, you kind of want to have um, everything very close to your hand, where your hand's not moving all over the keyboard and you're not stretching your fingers. Um, so you have a quick response to an action that you want to perform. Um, so with auto hotkey it's kind of nice because you can create these kind of combos um, and they do work really nicely with this character. Um, with the mouse in addition to that, you know, um, I have another keyword, I'll let the character run fast so that's kind of nice. Um, popping a potion is very quick and easy, you know, that's on my Z key, X key for the FP potion, uh, shift C there so we can get torrent up. Um, no more falling off torrent by accidentally hitting the left three um, stick so that's been really nice um, very easy to dismount and then C for crouch because you know that's just from other games um, and then of course uh, my V key is just to use so when I walk around I can collect things and use things that I want um, and then we get into uh, shift key so we can just shift A and two hand and one hand and two hand on the left side um, then we can do the shift S to do the same with the right hand side and then shift D to toggle the left hand and shift F to toggle the right hand. Um, so all those kind of things are very nice with this setup. Um, for the dodge, I have a few keys for dodge. Um, just the mouse wheel by rolling back. Um, it kind of makes for a really nice bit of gameplay there and that's just using delta to move the character back. Um, so in combat, the other nice thing with dodge and this setup is you know you dodge in the direction that the character is facing in so it makes for some very nice dodging um, and uh, all in all you know uh, I'm still getting used to the rig because I set it up for controller so I played for about three weeks with controller and finally just said I, I gotta be able to get keyboard working with this um, so we'll just walk up and poke this guy and do a parry so there's the, the parry combo you know nice and easy um, I'm finding too, just in general combat, the mobility is nice. The only thing that I find, and we do have um, Shift Z here is the camera, so we can have the camera with Shift Z and Shift X if you need to get some, you know, more versatility in moving around. Um, and in a nutshell, that's kind of it. The other nice thing too is you have uh, spell slots, so I'll have to get the, uh, you know, the spell key in. So if I hit one it'll automatically cast that spell, hit two, it'll switch over and cast and equip two automatically. So there's some nice auto features in there. This is coming from a base script that um, is online for auto hotkey, but I've modified it to fit my sort of gameplay style. So that was nice. It was Goru who first came up with the original script and I have all that information in the script itself where you can find the original script and then all the modifications that I did for it. Um, but this is, like, like I said, I mean, working with auto hotkey has definitely made a big difference in options for uh, what I like is just the idea of having some combos, you know, that are, you know, can be usable, they can be quick, um, just to get the timing down, like the dodge and short attack. Uh, you know, if there's any other kind of combos that I can come with, I have lots of availability with a combination of shift, control, and alt with those. Um, Q, W, E, R, A, S, D, F, and Z, X, C, V. Uh, and those are kind of my priority key zones um, for my gameplay. Uh, if I can try to get everything consolidated into that area, I just find it's very quick and easy. And it's also ergonomically set, so it's a much more comfortable gameplay. Um, and that in a nutshell is what the 
age uh, offers for auto hotkey. Um, the gameplay has definitely changed, and there's some cool things that I've noticed with this um, in combat. Being able to quickly flick and turn and I'd face an opponent in an attack has allowed for some really cool rapid um, sword play where uh, if I can get into some combat where that uh, comes into effect uh, I'll give you guys a demonstration of that. Um, and the other thing too is this even mount combat although I do find that the attacks are on the opposite side from my layout so my F is doing it on the left side which should be the right but uh, I mean, that can be tweaked and changed uh, it's still kind of a new setup but we'll go fight this guy in the horse <clears throat> the lock, like usual, I'm not a fan of the auto locking, so I try to use that minimally as much as I can because, as you know, uh, when you rotate and turn, it's going to switch the auto lock onto, you know, things in the train in the world that uh, may not necessarily be what you want it to be. So we'll we'll get this combat kind of going. I'll get some mobility going here, but I got to take it off lock for it to be a bit more effective. Um, but I'll see if I can do it here with this guy because uh, you can stay really nice and close <laughs> in the, really nice and close if he's running really fast you know you see I can stay right on point much more precision there with the uh, control so I like that part of it um, so I'm seeing a lot of potential with uh, this setup you know it's making it a lot more fun for me anyways uh, rather than using the console so hopefully I'm sharing this um, you know those of you that miss your keyboard and mouse and had to go and get a controller like I did to play this game I can go back to keyboard and mouse and have a bit more fun with the game uh, and uh, who knows what else we can find for um, combo keys and things like that that just might fit in and make the gameplay a little bit more enjoyable uh, I do like a lot of the uh, you know drinking a potion is just so much easier now with one little key click you don't have to worry about fumbling through and scrolling through your belt or your pouch um, so definitely a lot of improvements. Uh, let's see if we can get into a bit more of a heavier fight here with the uh, the encounter on this side. Yeah, I can't promise it's going to be all that elegant because I'm still kind of sorting it out. But even just with light attacks and moving between opponents, as long as the character's not getting stun locked in this battle, you'll see what I'm talking about in terms of some of the uh, some of the play. But it could end up being pretty crazy here. But zipping around, getting to the next person, let's get a pot going. You know, very easy, although it's probably not the best group because of the horse rider here, but whatever. We'll just run through. Character dies, it dies, no big deal. It's Elden Ring, it's supposed to die. But, you know, flipping around and slipping to an next opponent, you know, I find a lot of that has been good even though my sword's still like pretty much level two I think it's not very big but that's in a just kind of um, a lot more organic uh, playthrough with it you know, um, without that horse rider I've walked through some groups and just chopped them all down really quickly with even just the light attack so there you have it I'll have the um, download for the whole package uh, we'll get into the reserve keys you can't bind the G key the G keys can be for your map I don't recommend unless you're okay with it using the Q key for anything because the Q key exits the map but I still have my controller so I just use the controller for the map because the map navigation with mouse has always been a little bit off and uh, but you know going into the menu system getting out of the menu system I just hit my controller button for that same thing with uh, this menu system as well um, doesn't have to be that way but I'm just using Q because I'm using it for my quick parry um, it just it's just a hot key that I don't want to I prioritize for action not so much things like the menu interface and stuff like that so the link will be down below in the channel as well as the download for that and if you haven't worked with an ergonomic setup or move your movement keys over to a mouse um, you might find that it's, it's a lot nicer in your hand if you're still stuck in WASD where you're crunching your fingers up um, you know I find this style of gameplay where your hands relaxed and you have this setup so much more comfortable um, and it's so much more comfortable than using a controller for me because again a controller both arms are there and you're kind of hunching uh, so ergonomically this really fits nice as well so give it a try tell me what you like post your comments you know and feel free to subscribe to the channel i'm going to be doing a few more fun things with elden ring this is this is mr brave sir robin and uh you know maybe we'll have some fun with that i just like having fun with the game don't take it too serious um and i hope you guys are having fun with it as well have a nice day